Near the northern end of the Sabine National Forest, one expert outdoorsman has had two startling encounters with a Sabine thing. When I grew up, it was always referred to as croquemitan, which is a Cajun word that means boogeyman. Jeff Stewart is a lifelong resident of East Texas. A lot of people around here don't want to admit that they believe in the Sabine thing because they don't want to get ridiculed, they don't want to get made fun of, they don't want to be belittled, but in secret, they believe. In 1986, Jeff was camping at the Sabine River with friends when he had an experience that would change his view of the monster from fairy tale to fact. We had fished all day and we had caught quite a number. Ooh, dinner. And we would skin our fish at that hand pump well. Did that even touch me? I didn't know. It's for the hogs. And we would leave the entrails on the ground for raccoons or hogs or whatever to come and eat during the night. And we would slip back over there with a flashlight and shine them and we'd shoot them. Yeah, target practice, right? <laughs> Poor hogs, they're only hungry. All right, come on, let's go fry these up. We'll be back, hogs. The leftover catfish attracted some unwanted attention. Later that night, Jeff decided to go back to the well to see if any scavengers had turned up. I told my friends to come on, let's go over and check out the gut pile and see what's hitting the guts. And of course, nobody wanted to go wasn't expecting anything bigger than a raccoon or a hog. I could see that there was something eating at the guts. And I raised my rifle. And when I got probably about 20 yards, it stood up. It stood up on two legs. I was terrified. It was looking me dead in my eyes. It was very similar to human eyes. I've never, I've been hunting these woods ever since I was born. I've never seen anything like this. Interrupting the creature's meal, Jeff wondered, was he next on the menu? 